Hello and welcome to another video from Easy Academy. In this particular video, we're going to be covering how we can generate RSA keys using Docker containers uh, to do so. So in this particular tutorial, I will have an Ubuntu uh, image uh, that I will use to create a Docker container. And then once I do that, I can pretty much use it to generate my keys. And then I can use the, those uh, public and private key pairs to set up servers on Microsoft Azure a cloud so that is the purpose of this uh, basic uh, tutorial just to show you how you can use a docker container to generate the, the image sorry generate the rsa keys so um, if you have not followed me yet uh, on twitter or instagram please uh, you know go ahead and do so so that when i have new content you can you know find out easily you can also subscribe to my channel if you think that this content you know is beneficial and helpful and please feel free to share the channel link with others you believe would benefit from the content i also have a github page where you can um, find me and take a look at some of the tutorials that i have there and on my website you can find uh, several content that is uh, relevant to uh, data and some of the things that we're doing um, on the cloud so let's get started with this particular tutorial so um, the first thing I'm going to do is going to be to show you the Docker file that I'm going to be using uh, for this. Like I said, it is an Ubuntu um, uh, image. Um, basically, you inherit from the Ubuntu uh, image. You perform an uh, update to get the latest uh, version of the contents. And then once you do that, you can pretty much install anything you want to install. Uh, but make sure that you have this uh, yes flag uh, for anything that you want to install. So. In my own case, that's, that's, uh, these are the things, two things I want to install. And then once you do that, uh, you, you pretty much have the blueprint for your container. Uh, the next stage is going to be for you to go ahead and run this command here to build it. Now, in this particular uh, scenario, this is my image name and the tag version. So you can choose yours. But if you do that, make sure that in the subsequent steps, you're using the same uh, container uh, image uh, for your for your own steps. But in this in this step here this is what i'm this is all i'm going to do so um, i'm going to navigate to this directory that has this docker file um, in this particular scenario this is the docker um, this is the file that has what i need so this is my my um, docker file now what i'm going to do is i'm going to build that particular image Okay, the image is, is, is built now and it's available. Now, because I'm using a Mac, uh, what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna go inside the directory and run this command to convert that image into a container. If you are on PowerShell on Windows, you can use this command uh, because what we're trying to do um, is that we're trying to mount the keys folder into the container image as a, slash ansible keys so in all these scenarios here that's what we're trying to do we're trying to mount this keys folder that we have here um, the directory into my container that is running as a slash ansible hyphen keys so that's what that's what we're doing when we are doing this command and then um, when i do that when i run it Oh, it says that I already have this container. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure that I um, remove the the previous container name so that there, there are no conflicts. Okay. So if you see that error, that's what you need to do. Um, the next step now is I'm going to try to run this again. Okay. So now I am attached to the particular container. Uh, remember, I need to go into the Ansible keys folder. To perform that task okay so once i'm in that folder what i'm going to do next is i'm going to run this particular command so this command runs the the ssh keygen command and it generates uh, uh, the bit um, uh, bit size is a uh, 24 20 uh, 2048 and the type is an rsa um, key and then this is the name and the comment inside the 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 key the public key all right 
so if it already exists you can override it and then pretty much we have our private key and our public key generated uh, you can inspect the contents of the public key by doing so and similarly you can take a look at the private key as well but i'm not going to show you that so basically at this step your private keys and public key combination is generated and you are pretty much good to go you can exit uh, this particular container now if we go to the directory we're going to see that that particular key was also generated in there now going forward i now have my private key that i'm going to be using um, on my own computer to log into the remote servers and when i'm setting up the servers remotely i'm going to need to have the public key to specify in my setup so that concludes uh, this tutorial and we can exit at this point so again uh, if, if you think this video is helpful if you like to see th uh, similar content like this please let me know in the comment and um, i really appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch my tutorial and also giving me feedback on this particular content so thank you very much and that's pretty much all you have to do to generate your private key and public key which you can use to set up uh, virtual machines or virtual machine scale sets on uh, microsoft azure thank you very much